What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video and today I want to talk to you guys about a pretty touchy subject. Now, hear me out. I want to talk to you guys about camping. <laughs> so I know that this has been a thing in many Call of Duties and many other multiplayer games and it's not just one of those things where it's like cut and dry. So I kind of want to play devil's advocate here. So I personally hate the type of campers that sit in the most random corner that have no OBJ and are literally just sitting there doing nothing. Have I done it before? Hell fucking yes. <laughs> when I played Modern Warfare 3, which is the first Call of Duty that I really started to pick up on, I played a little bit of Modern Warfare 2, but Modern Warfare 3 is where I kind of began my journey, so to say, playing Call of Duty. So, back then, I was trying to find on YouTube, like, tips, tricks, ideas, like, how do I play this game? I literally started playing it with a friend who just played, like, the campaign and didn't really know too, too much about multiplayer, so I was watching a lot of T. Martin videos. Yet again, I know I'm gonna get flamed for this, that's okay. But I watched a lot of T. Martin videos and I learned how to camp, in a sense. Now, when I say camping, I really do mean there are two different types of campers. As I said, there's the camper who literally does nothing for the game. By the way, I play a lot of Domination, so we're kind of basing this off Dom. There's a person that sits in the most darkest corner, doesn't do anything. They're not really watching a flag. They're just sitting there because they don't know what else to do, or that's just their thing. Now, there is the OBJ type camper, and that's kind of what I'm trying to kind of in a way say that I am and I am kind of camping but at the same time I'm playing extremely objective I'm not sitting in one corner and not moving when I see that my B flag is being taken I still jump off and go and try to take my B flag back or try to prevent them from capping B but I sit up in a good place usually on a head glitch because you know that's kind of the thing for most of the Black Ops games and I sit there and I watch a certain part objectively. I know that this lane, someone is going to run down it. So I'm preparing myself to kill that person. Do we necessarily want to call that camping? Maybe. But you got to think about it this way. Why should I put myself out into the open where someone has a better chance of killing me when I can sit back on a head glitch and make sure that no one touches my, my spawn or no one touches my flag point? It kind of makes sense. So if you're the objective rushing type person where you can rush in and you know 100% you're going to be okay, this doesn't apply to you. But for the person that maybe isn't necessarily the most accurate or maybe not the most skilled player, sometimes doing this, it's actually not a bad idea. Now, I kind of categorize myself somewhere between the OBJ camper and the rusher because that's just kind of how I've always played the game. But I have got a little bit more conservative lately. I, I've noticed that... I'm running into places that there's either too much spawn or there's people already there. Why should I completely destroy my KD when I can sit there and make sure that my B flag doesn't get taken? So, example, I run into your spawn, I die. Well, I was the person watching B, so now you're going to come out of your spawn, you're going to take my B flag, and now I'm going to have to work for the next three or four minutes to get my B flag back because now you're set up and waiting where I would have normally done. And if I was sitting there and watching the B flag, maybe I could have died. Maybe I would have picked off a bunch of people. Maybe I would have thrown a Semtex at the right time and taken you off B. So you kind of got to think about it as, do I want to be greedy and run into your spawn and take all the kills? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely do. But is it the objective thing to do? Is it the thing that necessarily is going to win your game? Maybe not. Maybe you can push them back into your spawn to the point that you can't let them get to the B flag maybe you get all the way into their spawn and you die. So it, it's kind of like a, a turn of the table. Do you want to go in there and destroy their spawn? Do you want to sit back in your own spawn and make sure no one takes your home flag? It's pretty much up to you, but necessarily camping, it, it's kind of a gray line on a, what camping exactly is. Do I think sitting in a random corner is the best way to go about it? No. But do I think setting up on a good head glitch or maybe like a good corner and, and holding down an area? I think it's a good thing to do. So let me know down in the comment section below. You can flame me if you want. I, as I said, this is kind of my opinion on how something like Domination or Hardpoint or an objective-based game should be played. 
But I want to hear your guys' opinion. Are you the running gun that goes in there and destroys absolutely everyone? Or are you the person that sits back like me and just kind of lets the opponent come to you? So let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, leave a like rating. It helps the channel grow tremendously. And uh, YouTube, I will see you soon.